Maths is a powerful but underexplored module. Beyond its obvious uses as an envelope generator and LFO, Maths has a world of other talents, including as a kind of complex oscillator. As a sound source, channels 1 and 4 on Maths can generate some basic wave shapes. But when combined using frequency modulation, we can get more interesting results. Let's start with channel 1 on its own. Engage cycle mode, and channel 1 will loop its rise and fall periods, creating an LFO. If we shorten the rise and fall times, the looping will cycle at an audible rate, so we can plug out from the unity output on channel 1 to our VCA. We should now hear the maths oscillator. If we change the rise or fall time, the oscillator shape will change as well, going from a triangle when the rise and fall times are the same, to closer to a saw or ramp wave, when either the rise or fall is set to zero. Now that we're getting sound, how do we get pitch control? That's the tricky part. The both input can be used to control pitch by changing the rise and fall time simultaneously. However, maths doesn't really fit into a one volt per octave standard. By playing with the rise and fall time set to around noon, you might be able to get a couple of octaves to track. You can then use the very response knob to dial in the tuning. These microtonal frequency divisions can be handy, however, especially when we start to engage math's other cycling channel as a modulation oscillator. Let's set up channel 4 to oscillate just like channel 1. Engage the cycle mode and dial in an oscillating tone using short rise and fall times and a slightly exponential vary response curve. Now route the unity output from channel 4 into the both input on channel 1. Channel 4 is now frequency modulating channel 1. The both input on channel 4 can be used to control atonal pitch changes. To attenuate the FM depth, we can route the channel 4 unity out into channel 2, and then route the channel 2 variable output into the channel 1 both input. Then the channel 2 attenuverter can be used to increase the index of the frequency modulation. We could also use the sum output routed to the both input on channel 1. If we use the channel 1 variable output to route our oscillator into the VCA, we can use the sum output to send not only the channel 4 FM source into the both input on channel 1, but we can also use the channel 2 and 3 attenuverters to add or subtract voltage to the signal. route another FM source altogether into the mix. While still working with relatively simple wave shapes, we can still get some complex results. In our Many Faces of Maths course at Voltage Control Lab, we explore dozens of other functions for this great module. Check out the details at voltagecontrollab.com. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, follow, and subscribe. Oh, <laughs>